Yeah, what's up everybody? Llama here, and we are back with some uh, MLB The Show, Blue Jays franchise. This is game, or season two, game one, opening day here. So I just recorded this for like five minutes and I had to stop. I was like, that was awful. I don't want to upload it. So hopefully this one will be a little bit better. But the one I was doing, I don't know, I was just rambling on and stuff like that. Um, much of what I usually do, but it was worse than the average videos. So I was like, I'll go ahead and restart it here. So hopefully uh, this one will be a little bit better. But um, yeah, we're taking on the Yankees here, season two with the Blue Jays, and um, probably play a few seasons with them. I didn't want to simulate all of the first season, that's why I think we finished six games under 500, not too bad. We had a shot at the wild card there at the end, and I was like, I'll play some games, and of course I ended up blowing it somehow. Simulating worked, it got us into the spot, and then I tried to play some uh, games against the Orioles, and I think I dropped two out of three, and that put us out of the playoffs. So we simulated into the off season. Off-season, we've made some moves. We, um, I think we lost Mark Burley. I saw somebody left a comment in my one video saying we, uh, I, I offered him a qualifying tender offer, or whatever it's called, for like a ridiculous amount of money. But um, I think he turned it down and tested free agency. So there was that. And then we got a nice little trade offer, Starling Marte for Jose Reyes. And it was worth it because we were all the way at our max budget, so we didn't have money to afford any player. Um... <clears throat> So by trading Reyes, we feel, uh, we freed up almost $13 million in cap space. And we got uh, a player, Marte, who's got 86 overall, excellent leadoff here, 99 speed, and you can see it right here. He's going to take second base uncontested. The throw is uh, pretty much after he slid in there. So get a great player with him. Um, and then we signed another shortstop in free agency who had like a 74 overall. So try to get somebody else in shortstop. That'll do for now, but i um, got to get a better player in there at some point in the season and then we signed AJ Burnett who's got like a 75 or 76 overall to be our uh, fifth starter there so we kind of um, have a decent rotation now. Um, I might trade Jose Batista, I got a lot of offers last season and in the off season to trade for him but I wasn't really looking for prospects and um, I don't know I think if I trade him I want to get uh, a solid pitcher like a top three guy and then a really good positional player too. Um, but you can see the Yankees with a retarded error there. I don't know why they bothered to throw that one away, but that's going to allow the runner to take second. And then they almost threw another one away there. But uh, whoever's on second has got awful speed, so he just stays there. Um, costly errors by the Yankees infield there. But, um, you yeah, know, as I was saying, so Batista might go. I don't know who else. Donaldson, I think I'm going to keep. Um, Encarnacion, I might trade him if I can get something solid for him. But with the, uh, how it's set up, so... Um, if you don't meet your GM goals within three years, you kind of get kicked off the team and have to play with another team. It's hard to do uh, trading for prospects and trade all your best guys away for prospects and try to develop them, simulating a lot of seasons. Because, uh, like I said, when you simulate, if you do more than three, you don't meet your goals. Got to go with another team there, so that kind of sucks. And some people I watch, I think, uh, with the Ryan Sports Jams channel, he's got a good channel. People should check him out if they're not sub to him but he was using uh, the Padres and he did that he was just trading off all his high payroll guys for prospects built a solid team up and then um, he didn't meet the uh, GM goals expectations so he had to start a new one with another team or you can stay in with your GM but you have to sign with another team and then it gives you the options of a bunch of crap teams to sign with so you get your choice of that which kind of sucks because they usually only play 10 or 15 games in the season I don't play the full 162 it's kind of no that's too much i'd rather i like playing all the games in the postseason um but playing the regular season just kind of ridiculous it's way too long so um why are we in the first inning here i don't know but i just noticed are we still in the first i thought it said eighth or something but i don't know there you can see a nice diving play by uh our second baseman he got the got the stop there out of a nice web gym but he threw it away trying to throw the first for the out so that's gonna let the runner take second Oh, we still are in the first. Okay, this is a long first inning here, like four minutes into the video. Um, I was thinking we were deeper, but apparently not. So there you can see Headley tries to take home on that uh, single up the middle, and he's going to be thrown out by our center fielder, so that's going to keep it a one-run game here. So now we're going to go to the eighth. Navarro is up, and he's got a runner on uh, first base for him. Full count. He uh, drove in a runner earlier in the first. He's going to foul off that fastball so that it's going to... Uh, keep him alive and then the next pitch here is coming eventually maybe let's see how long it takes for them to throw it all right come on guy throw the ball next pitch comes and that one is going to be a two-run shot for navarro who is going to uh pad the uh, toronto lead here 
Alright, what's up everybody? My mic cut out for whatever reason, but here's the Batista's up next. Top 9 right after that 2 run, er, no, the 2 run homer was last inning. Top 9 now, um, 1 on Batista with his own 2 run homer. He was 0 for 3 previously in the game, but he's gonna get his first hit of the night. That's gonna be a monster shot to left field over the wall there. Shallow walls in uh, Yankee Stadium, but still deep enough where I think that could have gone out in most ballparks. So, um, but yeah, real quick, if anybody else is watching this up to this point, um, if anyone can make me a solid thumbnail for uh, this series, like a Blue Jays show thumbnail, I will, uh, I don't know, I'll uh, throw out your name and stuff in a video, I'll link it in a few videos, try to get you some publicity, because my Photoshop still skills suck really bad, so like I said, if anyone wants to uh, make me a thumbnail and then send it to me on like Twitter or something like that or on YouTube, I will uh, link your channel and stuff like that and I'll publicize it in one of my next videos, so uh, yeah, thanks to anyone who can do that. Um, and there you can see we get what is the second out of the inning here. So Adrian Beltre, who hit the two-run homer for the Yankees earlier in the uh, first inning, is up again. Fells off that sinker pitch, so it is a 2-2 count. Uh, 16th pitch of the ninth inning. That one is an outside slider. It's going to set up the 3-2 count, and they're going to go with the change or with the sinker ball there. Oh, what are you throwing? I can't even read that. Monitor's so tiny, but... Um, yeah, we end up winning it. Struck out Beltre there. <laughs> so, um, alright guys, thanks for watching. This video is kind of crappy and real erratic, but I just wanted to get something out. So, probably make another video tonight. So, uh, or today rather, just so um, I have something else to put up. But I'm just kind of rambling on here at this point. So, I'll stop talking. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.